In high definition, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. In an Eyewitness News exclusive tonight, a bullet almost took his life. But one month later, the victim of an attempted robbery is making progress. All to the delight of his friends and family. He is now on the road to recovery. And as Eyewitness News reporter Oren Lieberman finds, his family is optimistic about his future. Kevin Neary has had every reason to stop smiling, but the joy of the 29-year-old has never left him. His smile is great. <laughs> he is the best smile. Neary was moved to McGee Rehab Center in Center City Friday morning. He was shot in the neck during an attempted robbery as he walked home early in the morning last month. The bullet left him paralyzed. He's had some down moments, but his spirit bounces back pretty quick. So it's good for him, and we just need to be strong for him. The suspect, 20-year-old Christopher Easter, was in court for his preliminary hearing Friday morning. He'll face charges for the attempted murder of Kevin. He's still going to be quadriplegic. Um, nothing's going to change that. But he has a very, very positive attitude, and he will succeed. Kevin is only able to say a few words at a time right now, three or four at most. But his family says hearing him say those words, hearing him speak, makes everybody smile. What are some of the things he's been able to say? <laughs> Get my cell phone. <laughs> um, he knows that people have been reaching out to him, um, and he's, you know, he, wants to, he wants to live like a normal life as much as possible. Kevin's family relies on the optimism of a young man whose life will never be the same. He's going to be much better in a few weeks, uh, but it's a lengthy process. It's an optimism his family shares for Kevin's recovery and for Christopher Easter being brought to justice. In Center City, Oren Lieberman, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.